What we need to do is open up our web browser and go to linkedin.com, log into your account, then go underneath the company's menu option and select the name of the business that you want to create the product page for. In this case, we're using our fictitious business called mybizapps.net. Now, once you have come to this particular page, you will see that you've got these four menu options across the top for overview, careers, products and services, and analytics. For this tutorial, we're going to click on products and services. Now, if you've not created any products or services yet, when you first click this, you're going to be greeted with some information about LinkedIn's new tool. Once you've read through that, if you would like to click on the add a, add a product and service button. Now, once this page comes up, you're going to see you've got um, 10, actually 11 different steps to create your new product page. Now, some of these are required and some of these are not required. So we're going to go step by step to let you see each option and describe what each option provides in terms of benefits for your product page. The first thing they need you to describe is, is your what you are trying to post a product or a service. So in the case of what we're going to use for our tutorial, we are using a service. Now, once you've selected what type it is, you need to select what category best fits your product or service. So in our case, because New Media Workshop is all about education, we're going to select education as the category that we want our product to appear in. You can select any one of the categories. However, you can only select one category. And in the past, LinkedIn actually had a service providers directory where each one of these categories could have your business listed underneath it and your products and your services. They have kind of turned that off so you cannot get to it publicly, but I have a feeling that they're going to bring it back. So there's great future benefit to creating these products and services pages as it may appear down the road in a service providers directory that anyone can search. So moving on to step number three, we need to name our product or service. So this could be the official brand name for your product, or if you do not have one yet, it could just be a very descriptive name for your product or your service. In our case, we're saying we've got online learning courses. Now, once we've selected the name for our product or service, we're going to scroll down to step number four, which is where we can add an image of your product or service. Now, this is actually optional. However, studies have always shown that users are more likely to engage a page that has visual stimulation as much as it has just written text on the page. So if you have an image of your product or even an image that is representative of your service, select the add image icon and or, or the add image link to be able to upload whatever your product or service photo will be. In our case, we've just got a sample photo that we're going to use that's focused around e-learning. And this is actually going to appear in our product page listing. Now, as we scroll down to step five, we need to describe our product or service. Now, in this case, it is highly recommended that you have a description that is at minimum 250 characters. LinkedIn is pretty big at having a limited required amount of content for anywhere they ask for a description to make sure that what you're providing is robust, robust enough for them to um, anyone be able to search about your particular business um, uh, for the product or service that you're trying to include on LinkedIn's product page. So in our case, we actually have a fake description that we wrote up for our fake product for our fictitious business about our e-learning courses. So I just copied and pasted that into there. They do provide you, as you can see, some very basic formatting tools in terms of bold, italicize, and underline any content. You can also put bullet points or an ordered list if you would like to highlight specific items for your particular product or service. However, it does not allow any other formatting beyond that. So just be aware of that depending on uh, what your description looks like if you're pulling it from a Word document or a PDF. Now, as we scroll down to step number six, it's actually where we can input the list of key features about our product or service. Now, as you can see, this is also an optional item. You do not have to insert anything here. It will actually tell you it's going to create a bulleted list of product or service features, and it will actually have a header 
on the page you'll see after we've created this where this information appears. So even though above you may have actually typed in a description and then a bulleted list underneath that, if the bulleted list you created for your description is really just the key features, go ahead and remove them out of your description and put them down in step number six for your key feature so that it looks better on your product page. So in our case, we're going to say it's online only modules, self-paced courses, and we may say that is easy to follow video tutorials. And you can put anything you want. As you can see, you can add as many features as you want. Each time you click this, it'll add a new box for you. So we're gonna move on to the next item that is part of step six, which is the disclaimer. So think of this as your product or service disclaimer. Is there anything that you need to let people know that are interested in this particular product um, that may involve, let's say, uh, shipping or anything to do with uh, your return policy or if it's refundable or not. In our case, we just created a very fake disclaimer that mentions that all of our e-courses are non-refundable because they're being fully delivered online in downloadable format. Now, actual e-learning courses we've created are refundable, but then again, wouldn't be much for us to use in a disclaimer for this tutorial. So we just mock something together for you. Now you can see we're at the bottom of the left-hand column. So we're gonna go right back up to the top and continue on with step number seven, which is also optional, but I highly recommend this. We can add a URL for this particular product or service. So if on your website you have a page that is dedicated to the specific product you're gonna list here, it could be very beneficial. As a matter of fact, I would say it is absolutely beneficial to copy that link. You can either select that page and copy it from up here in your address bar, or as you saw me do, I actually right clicked on the link itself and copied that link and then come back and paste that link in step number seven. Now what this is gonna do is create a direct link to that exact page. Why is that beneficial? Well, anyone who is looking at this product who's inter interested in this product would rather go to a page on your website that is talking about that product than just be dumped off at your homepage. So whereas you could just go ahead and put your homepage there and let them find their own way to that page, I highly recommend that you have a specific URL to that particular product or service page. Now, if you look at step number eight, we can actually add a contact from our company that could be the contact for anyone that has questions about this particular product or service. Now, in this case, it can be anyone that I am connected with on LinkedIn uh, or even myself. So if anyone was looking at this product page and they had a question about it and I wanted them to be able to contact any of my employees or myself directly on LinkedIn without having to go to my website, I could actually type their name in here and you'll see that they'll start to show up in your list. Again, you do have to be connected to them on LinkedIn for this to work. So if you are not connected to an employee, you want to list on your product page, you need to connect to them first. And right now they have it set up where you can have up to three different employees or three individuals as a contact for this product page. So I'm gonna skip the other two and scroll down to step number nine, which is to add a promotion for this product or service which this is another fantastic way to get traffic to your website. So they're already coming to your product page. They're learning more about it directly through LinkedIn. They're feeling that they're coming on their own terms, learning about your product, where they're not feeling bombarded with your promotional messages as if they were at your own website. But here you can still mention a promotion you're running for this product or service. So in this case, we created a fake one called Get 50% Off any of our online e-courses, any of our e-courses. Give it a title. Now this is even more fantastic is you can input a URL directly to that promotion. Now, what I would want you to think about here is to create what is called a landing page directly to your promotion. And what I mean by that is, could you give me a URL that I can go to that has a call to action on that page that makes me either A, wanna sign up for something, so it's sign up for your newsletter, 
or sign up for a free trial of your product or service? Or could the call to action actually be to buy your product or service? So this is a great opportunity to run your own promotional deal on your product or service page directly on LinkedIn. So to make use of that. Uh, this could really generate some business for your business in terms of this specific product that we're listing on LinkedIn. Now, you also want to give it a brief description of what the promotion is. And we've created a fake one that we're going to work with here. Just get 50% off of any of our e-learning courses from now through March 31st. So you can actually make this whatever the description needs to be. We're just giving you an example of what it could be. So please make use of that as a fantastic tool to get some traffic to your website and to your promotion for this product. So moving on to step number 10, this is a new thing that LinkedIn is trying to highlight on, which is video marketing of products and services. Videos are so much more engaging than even photos or graphics on a particular website or web page. And LinkedIn's provided you to do that for your product or service. So if you've got a YouTube video that is about your product or service, then you actually wanna to try to link it in here to your product page so people can watch that video. Now in this particular case, they're gonna ask for two different things. Give a title of your video. In this case, we're gonna say sample e-learning course. And then you need to actually copy and paste in the URL in step number 11 for your YouTube video. So go to YouTube, load your video up, and actually copy and paste the URL that's provided there that'll look something like this, youtube.com forward slash watch, and then a little bit of code after afterwards, which actually, actually designates what video you are trying to upload. You can see once I kind of clicked out of that, it's now gonna show this is the video that I'm linking into it. So all of these pieces, pieces and 11 steps can create a very dynamic, engaging product page for your business. Once I've completed all 11 steps, I'm just gonna hit publish. And once that's completed, it's now going to show me my product page. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have your photo at the top that we uploaded, the product overview. Here's actually the features and benefits that you saw me listed in bullet format. Um, you'll notice that it lists the disclaimer at the bottom, and this will continue to stretch down as more people are recommending this product. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And over on the right side is where it talks about that this is for our online e-learning courses. So you can see this is the link to our website. Now I'm going to click to have this open in a new tab so you can see where it's going to the specific page that I highlighted for online learning courses. Now we're going to go back over to LinkedIn. That is also where the, the visit our website will go to that same exact page. That way, if they realize that this is not a link, they can always select on this option. Now, as you scroll down, here's where the contact from LinkedIn is going to show up. So anyone I put as a contact for this product or service, if you have questions, will immediately show up here where anyone can send a LinkedIn message to them to ask their questions. Now, as you keep looking down the right side, here's that video, that really nice engaging video that's going to share with anyone coming to look at this product page information specific to your product or service. What a great way to engage them and grab their attention and share with them the information. And then finally, underneath that is actually the promotion for your product or service. So it's going to give you, and obviously you can see they give you a lot of room to type the description of how this is going to work. But once they click on this, and I'm going to have it open up in a new tab, it's going to go specifically to your landing page or your promotional page for your product or service. It's that easy to add your product and service to LinkedIn and to your company page. So please do this, make use of this, See how you can gain new traffic, new customers, new leads to your website for your specific products and services. Now, the last thing I want to mention is what you saw here, the request recommendations and below when there are recommendations for this product. So this is what's even better. Anyone who comes to your product or service page, once you've created it, can write a recommendation about your product or service that is shared throughout their LinkedIn social network. So if they have over 500 contacts and they recommend our product, online e-learning courses, it is gonna share that recommendation with 500, all their personal network that they have on LinkedIn, which could be over 500 people. 
And it's also going to build a list underneath our product overview of all the recommendations. So if you can imagine over time, if you've got a hundred different recommendations for your product or service, anyone coming to this page is going to see all 100 recommendations, what power that is to influence them and to want to learn more about your product or service. So it's this easy for you to create a product or a service page for your LinkedIn company page. And it's, only going to take you around five to 10 minutes to do if you've got all of your information pulled together. And you can do this for as many products or as many services as you want. So make use of this. Now, if you had any trouble following this tutorial or you have any questions about creating a product service page, drop us a comment below. And this was another free video tutorial by newmediaworkshop.tv.